Hello everyone. Have you ever stopped to think about where your data actually lives? Every file you upload, every video you stream, or every message you send, it all passes through a data center. But not all data centers are the same. Some are the size of a room. Others cover entire campuses and power entire countries digital traffic. Well, in this video, we're going to break down the different types of data centers, how they work, and why their design matters. Let's start with the classic, the enterprise data center. These are owned and operated by a single organization, like a bank, a hospital, hospital or a government agency. They are typically located on site or near the company's headquarters and they are built for security and control. The company manages everything, power, cooling, and servers. The downside is the high operating costs and limited scalability but they offer maximum privacy and customization, perfect for sensitive data and critical operations. Next is the colocation data centers. Here, instead of owning the building companies, rent space, power and cooling inside a third party facility, you bring your own servers. They provide the infrastructure. Colors are like the Apartments built for data, you own the equipment, but share the building systems. This model gives the flexibility, better redundancies, and access to robust power and network connections without building your own site. Third is the cloud data centers. The backbone of back modern technology, they're operated by cloud providers like Amazon AWS, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, User rent virtual infrastructure instead of physical space. The beauty of cloud data center is scalability. They can instantly expand to meet demand. It's what it makes streaming AI global web application possible. However, users give up direct control over the physical hardware. Four is the hyperscale data centers, which is the big one. These are massive automated facilities that support cloud computer and AI global skills. And last is the edge micro data centers, which is the device apps require real-time processing data needs to be closer to users.